Welcome back. Heroes Path Palliative Care is a local nonprofit which provides support for families with children that have serious illnesses. While they offer nature-based enrichment education programs and psychosocial support services, now their mission is to help bring better resources to support families and help alleviate some of the stress. We're joined this morning by one of the board members, uh, Corey Lee, and Jen Bartz to tell us a little bit more about this wonderful program here in New Mexico. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Yeah, it's great to have you both with us. Uh, so I'm going to kind of let uh, whichever one you want to, wants to handle uh, telling the audience what Heroes Path Palliative Care is all about. Yes, um, we work with families who have a child with serious illness or medical complexity. Um, there's about 80,000 um, children in New Mexico who would benefit from palliative care. I was one of those families. Um, my son died four years ago when he was four years old. Um, he was medically complex. And so we know firsthand what it's like to go through um, all of the challenges and the stressors. Um, and so we've designed programs to better support the families um, in our state. And we have people, very highly trained and skilled people like Corey on our team to help make sure that we get the services they need in the state. Yeah. Uh, Corey, how, how crucial is it to, to pr provide those services for families? Exceptionally so. Um, parenting a child with a serious or a medically complex condition, it is um, an incredibly challenging experience. Uh, the siblings need support, the primary caregivers need support, not just medical support, but psychosocial support. Mm -hmm. And so that includes care of the whole child and their family. Yeah. Um, what's some of the feedback that you've heard from families after you know, going through the care program? Yeah, um, I think what they're really excited about is just the fact that they now know other families that are like them. Um, when I was going through this, I had no idea that there was other families like mine. Um, and it's really fun to watch the kids look at each other and be like, hey, I have that same thing. I have, the, I have a trach or I have a G-tube. Um, so I think just being around other families has been really beneficial for them. And then um, knowing that there's people who really genuinely care and are working to support them in more inclusive ways, um, including getting better um, trails and things like that in the Albuquerque area. I think it's been very um, encouraging for them and just to know that they're not alone. Are there opportunities for volunteers to get involved? Yeah, um, we would love to see more people come on board to help us with our philanthropy effort, which we think of as like the fun committee. Um, but also we have opportunities for teens. Um, we have a teen council for them to get involved and help entertain the kids. Um, we need more board members. Um, I think right now when there's so many illnesses, it's hard to get people hands-on with, with people, but mm -hmm. in, in the summer, we may be able to have more people be hands-on. Um, anything else you can think of? Yeah, and I would say we're also looking for families to connect okay. with families. We offer, our services are free. So we offer support groups, in-person opportunities, family events. So if you're a family that has a child with a serious complex medical illness, we would love to meet you. Yeah. How, ca and how can they reach out to you guys? Yes, um, we, you can go to our website um, and connect that way or our Facebook page, um, or you can email me at genb at heroespathpalliativecare.org and I'm very responsive, so. Very good. Uh, and everything is, is it centrally located here in Albuquerque or? No, um, we've served people across the state. So okay. if, um, if there's families outside of Albuquerque who would like support, please contact us too. We are happy to work with you. And it's kind of open enrollment, it's just any time. Right? Yeah, yeah, any time. And the trajectory of a child's serious illness um, is a roller coaster. So sometimes kids will be doing really well and other times they'll really be struggling and we're there through it all. It's good to know and good to know that those resources are out there. Is there a website we can check out? Yes, it's www.heroespathpalliativecare.org. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you for having us. Now for a full recap of the entire interview, we will have it later on this morning on our website. That's always on krqe.com.